down, while it's rolling, you'll fade the shot out. If you want to fade the shot in, okay? Trust me, if you're gonna do that, make sure you get some extra safety takes, because you're probably gonna screw it up. It's probably gonna look a little All right, you have to do it slowly and carefully. Yeah, I'm not gonna repeat that. Okay, that's not in my contract. Okay, if you look closely on the Rexo fader, there are numbers there. What do they stand for? Degree of the shutter's close. Stops? Stops. Effectively, it's the degrees of the shutter's close. That's what they really are, but they're actually translated already for you into stops. One is you're shutting it down. You're cutting down the light by one full stop. That could come in handy. If you, wanna, oh, okay. if you didn't have a neutral density filter and you wanted to reduce the depth of field, right? Did you all hear that? Depth of field. Yes. The Rexo fader no, could come in handy if you put it in the one position. The you put it in the one position, you're cutting the light by one full stop. Not a great way to do it. You'd be much better off using an ND3.